Don't be too scared. Go all in. Uh, don't be too nervous. Do your research and your studying. And today, I will show you how to send your objective. Um, I'm going to start off. There's going to be two parts to the video. Um, this one is going to be on how to send your objective. This is really, really basic on how to set up and how to complete them. Um, eventually, I'll create more videos on advanced objectives on how to make them moves, how to make how many different effects, all that other stuff. Um, so all we're going to do for today is just go from one thing to the next on really, really basic um, objectives. I wanted to start from the beginning with these since uh, it's, it's a little bit of a complicated topic. Not too bad, but yeah. But anyways, we're going to start from the very beginning. And our scenario for today is we are going to start off the German occupation during this so-called, um, I don't really want to spoil it, but it's a little house near a lake, surrounded by a lake, and we have to kill the German hostages. That's our main goal, okay? Um, so, what we have to do is, um, we'll first get started over here. Okay, so, I set up where it's a stealth mission, and I control one sniper on how I control the other sniper. So, our, what, what we first have to do is, we're going to have two objectives. Our first objective is reaching this vantage point over here. It's kind of like a head of the knife hill. You can see perfectly see the enemy from over here, so it's kind of the perfect vantage point. Our first objective would be to reach this location, and then our second objective would be to reach um, and kill the all hostages. Okay, so what we first want to do is we're going to give um, our guy some pads. Now, in order to complete the objective, we're going to use some near conditions. So, I'm going to give my guy a pad. Now, as, our, as you can see, I already did this. So, all you need to do is just give your character, the person who is going to complete the objective, who's going to reach this location, uh, give them the pad. That's all you need is one pad. Now, when you've done that, we're going to then create a zone. Okay, create a zone and circle, uh, circle a part of the work. So I'm going to use a car though, and vantage point, vantage point, I'm going to call it vantage point, and then I'm going to place it right, um, right here, and I'm just going to adjust the size to approximately the size of this area, okay, that sounds pretty good, and actually, you know, I'm going to just click that right there, okay, that's it. Now, what we're going to do is go back to entities, and we're going to place in a pointer, okay? And then I'm going to show you what this means in a second, but it's under service, and then you go to pointer. Now, just pick the first one, just pointer, that's right. And then um, when you place it, it's going to have a kind of an arrow and a circle, and all this is going to do is just indicate where the objective is. Uh, this is good for stationary objectives, kind of like something like this. We want to reach this location, and in case, say, you don't know where the vantage point is, it'll tell you where it is. So this is kind of like in the general area. So what we're going to do is we're going to place it where we want, and then we're going to give it a tag. So bring up the tag. Now, it already comes with the tag if you're wondering. When you place it, it already comes with the pointer general tag. But we want another tag with it. Vantage. Yeah, we'll just call this vantage. So all you need is one other tag. Okay? When you're done with that, now we can go to our mission properties. I'm going to press F9. And obviously, it brings up your mission tab. What we're going to do is we're going to go to Tab. You're going to expand this box. And I'm going to go over this really quickly. Mission Task, also known as Mission Objectives. This is where all your objectives will be laid out. This is like the setup of how your objective will be laid out. So, obviously it's a big gray box, but if you right click, it's gonna have you tell you to add and insert. So, let's give it a name. So, uh, reach, reach, reach hill. Let's just call it reach hill. Whatever, you, it doesn't matter what you name it anyways, it's just uh, just for your preference. So, when you, once you create it, a bunch of information will pop up and you're gonna need most of these filled out. So, let's start off on the top. Yeah, please insert the description. 
So it's going to expand this, and it's going to open it to the text browser. Um, so what we're going to do is just as we were going to name the objective, so we're going to hit the uppercase bottom left and just call it whatever you want. So objective one, we'll just call it objective one. And then whatever you click in the sauce is going to be the objective name of that sauce. So we are going to name that sauce. Okay. So when you when the objective pops up on the game, when you're playing, it says new mission objective. It'll say exactly this, reach the vantage point. So when you're done typing it in, you press enter and press the button save and then press the button OK. So now for primary, you want to check this off, me meaning is it a primary objective or is it a secondary objective? Now to make it a secondary objective, you just keep this blank. You don't check it off. To, to make it primary, you got to check it off. If yes, let's say we have to make this primary okay, in order to complete the mission. Now the state, you want to keep this on hidden. If you keep this on computer, it fails. Well, then obviously when you start, when you start the mission, it's going to already complete it or fail it. So you obviously want to keep it on hidden so it's completely um, hidden from all view. Now the point, the point is exactly right here. Remember this, the pointer that we just placed. I'm going to type in the tag that we gave gave it. So I believe it was just vantage. Um, so I am all going to go back for just two seconds because I'm going to look at it. It is, yes, it's Vantage, okay. So you're going to type in that tag that you gave it. So Vantage. Now if you gave it the tag of the one it gave it already, so remember the pointer is called, um, that's a generic tag and it will do it to every single pointer that you place. So you don't want to do that. You want to place, you want to make sure you give it a tag. That's the reason why you always make sure to give it a tag. Now team, don't worry about it, you're all set. Um, it's not related to our video, so you can hit OK after this. And then get out of that. Now, when you're done, so now we're going to go to um, our trigger. Okay, a little lag. Um, so we're going to go to our objective. And pretty much now we're going to go to triggers. It's going to make a new trigger. So, objectives, objectives, killed. Something like that. Seems pretty good enough. Now, we have to think about it logically in order to, um, well, actually, I actually made a mistake right there. Um, we need two triggers. So we'll go ahead and we'll make hill. We can keep the one we have. We just need to add in another one. So hill and then hill star. Okay, so we need two. So let's start off with the hill star, meaning I call it hill star is because we need to make the objective pop up, right? The hill one I call it, the one I just called hill, that's how to complete it. So we want it to just pop up in general. So hill star, um, what you want to do is, you want to go to command, you don't need any conditions, you want to go to command and go to scene and then scroll down until you see tag. I'm going to double click on that and the name, you're going to pick the objective name that you saw in the mission path under the mission property, you're going to select that one that you need. Oops. And then the state you want to show, uh, put as show, meaning it will put the objective up. Okay. Now what we want to do is we want to complete this objective. So now we have to think about it logically. We want to, when we can, when we reach this spot, it completes the objective. So we need a condition and that will be a near condition. So we're going to open up the near condition and first of all, we're going to go to units, expand it, and tag. Um, the tag, remember remember how I gave that tag to the infantry, to my sniper? That's who, comp in order to complete the objective, my sniper has to reach this point. So you're going to give the tag of the person who you want to reach this specific spot. So let me do that. Now, for the near two, you want to expand that. And this will be the zone that we just made. So obviously, uh, vantage point. Now, behind this one behind precision, you can just keep this. You can keep that blank um, if if you want to, though. So you can hit OK after that. And all you need to do is we're gonna add in a slight delay, um, 
so like as soon as you reach it, it's not gonna complete it right away, but it's gonna take about like one second. And then we're gonna add in one more, and then we're gonna go back to Steam and give it another try. And this time you're gonna take the name, the same name again, but the states will be complete. Okay, now that we know, let's uh, test this out and see how it works. Okay, so if you notice, the points have popped up and it'll say mission objective, reach the vanishing point. Okay, now it's a, uh, in game, you can launch your, um, see your objectives at any time by pressing the O button, the O key, I'm sorry. And then when it does that, it'll say primary. If there isn't any secondaries, it'll pop, usually just pop it up like where my mouse is. Um, but see, you can see reach the vanishing point. It doesn't say complete or anything because we haven't completed it yet. And you see a little binocular symbol. Well, if I click on that, it's going to bring me to exactly where that pointer was. See, it pops it up, it pops it up on the map, plus it brings me to the exact location. So this is due for in case it's like, the reason why I actually put in a, a good pointer is so in case if you make an objective and you don't know where it is, the player doesn't know where the objective is, they can bring it up, click on it, it's like, oh, okay, that's where the vanishing point is. Because, you know, a vanish point could be over here too, that could be a little silly, but you know, you specify the place right there, so it's like, okay, I have to go over here now. So now what we're gonna do is, we're gonna just tell my guy to run to this location and we'll wait for that. Now while my guy's reaching that, you'll notice as I'm not on the desk in the screen, you'll notice the red arrow pops up in that direction, telling me where the pointer is in that different area. Um, since it's off screen, I can't actually physically see it. So it's telling me that it's in this area and then it's gone. And then that means it pops up. And there you go. Mission objective completed, reach the vanish point. We have reached this area, we have passed, uh, went into the zone and we reached the objective. Okay. Now, uh, what we're gonna do is we're gonna finish, we're gonna do another objective and we're gonna add in to kill the officer. Okay, so now what we gotta do is go back to F3 and what we're gonna do is to start off, we're gonna give the officer a tag because now we want to kill him, right? So we gotta give him a tag to specify. So you're gonna I'm gonna select the officer and I'm just gonna call him officer. Um and then hit OK for that. Now also what we're gonna do is we're gonna place a pointer on him as well. So in case if you don't know where the officer is, we can, we're just gonna give him like a general spot so the player knows. Uh, now you don't need to add in a pointer, but it's best to do this so other players can know. Cause remember, you're creating it so you know where everything is, but if another player was playing it, they need to know where it is at all times. So uh, again, we're gonna give this guy a, a tag as well and call it kill officer. Okay. Now, for this instance, we don't need we do not need a zone because we're not reaching the location. We're just stating that we need to kill the officer, so we don't need any any um, zones whatsoever. However, we do need to go to F9 mode. Back, we do need to go back to F9 mode and do another tag. So expand it again, and let's create another tag. So add again. Call this one kill officer. Now, again, um, let's start off with the description. So we'll expand this box. Hit add and we'll call it. Give it a name. Give it objective two. And I'm just gonna say this is what's gonna pop up in the in the game. So I'm just gonna say kill the German officer. Okay. So once you're done typing in what you need to do, press enter and press go to work or save and then press OK. Yes, we do want to make this a primary objective. So I'm gonna check this off. Um, and yes, this uh, the state needs to be hidden as well. Um, so just, yeah, make sure you have it on hidden because again, if you have it on computer fail, then as soon as you get the objective, it's gonna fail of course. You don't wanna do that. Now, we're gonna give it the tag of the pointer. And I forgot again, so I need to go back to it and select it and just give it the tag really quickly. Okay, so kill officer. Okay. 
again, we do not need any team, so that does not apply to us, so we can just, we're all set up here. Okay, now what we can do is we can head over to our trigger team. I'm going to add in another one. Now, again, just like uh, what I did when I added in two, I'm going to do the same thing. I'm going to add in two again. So, officer, I'm going to call one officer, and then I'm going to call one officer star. Okay, so now what we need to do is we want to make this objective pop up once we reach the hill. So what's going to happen is what you're going to do is you're going to need an event. So what you're going to do is go back to your objective that you want to complete first. So in my case, it's the hill. We Once we complete this objective, we're going to add in a new command. So, And what our new command is going to be is an event. So I'm going to click on event. Now, I never went through events too much. I do think before my past videos, but just bear with me. Uh, for now, so for the event, we're going to expand the box, and then we're just going to right-click and empty two, add an insert, and just make a new name. Um, officer, well actually, whoops, objective two, yeah. I'm just trying to like make them drawn out to make them as easily noticeable for you guys to understand. So it makes it very easy. So objective two start, that's what we want. We want the second objective to start. So I'm gonna hit okay. And for the mode, I'm just gonna hit set and it's already on set. So just keep it on that and just go ahead and complete that goal. Okay, so now what's gonna happen is we're gonna go to officer star. And this time we're gonna go to our condition. I'm gonna go to condition again and we're gonna look for event. Now I'm going to open up the, con uh, the event and the ID, now the mode you can keep it on work, okay? And the ID, you're going to expand the box and it's going to be the exact, it's going to be that helper event you just created. So in my case, it's help for objective to start. So I'm going to hit OK and select it. So it's pretty much stating it can't, this objective thing, this objective cannot pop up until the event is called upon that's in layman's terms. So, now for our command, what we want to do is simply just make the objective pop down. So, what we're going to do is go to scene, yeah, go to scene, and then scroll down until you get the second to last thing, which we call task. Uh, give it the name, open up the drop-down menu, and give it the name of your next objective. So, in this case, it'll be kill officer. Uh, this time, you want to put it on show, Again, so make it on show so the objective pops up. Now what we're going to do is the officer, this is now this is the actual objective to kill him. So we're going to need some logic again. Our condition, what we're going to need is an entity state. Now for future reference, just so you guys know, if you guys are planning to do any objectives where you kill something or kill someone you or, or kill many things, you need to be an entity. So, uh, open up the entities property menu, and we're going to give it the tag of the unit that we need to kill. So, it is the officer. Now, for our states, we want to keep them on dead because uh, we got to stay. If he's dead, then the objective's complete. So, we got to put it that. And then the count, we need to put greater than or equal to one. So, meaning, just really quickly, what this means is the officer, if he's great, if there's greater than or less than, or greater than or equal to one, that's dead. Then the objective is complete. So, um, so when you're done with when you set up all this, we're gonna hit OK. Now we're gonna finally just set up our last thing in our command. So hit o hit add, and we're gonna go to um, we're gonna do a quick delay again. Just add in probably like a, like a few milliseconds. Here. I'm just gonna add in like really quickly just so it kind of separates it so it doesn't complete it right away so you can kill it uh, you don't need to though that's an option um, and then finally I'm gonna go to task yet again and I'm gonna give it the name of the objective that we are focusing on so kill officer in my case and the state will be complete and then hit OK now for 
to test it. We should be all set. Now we can test it. Okay. So, as you can see, the east of vantage point, obviously, we already know this works. Now, I'm going to press the O button. As you can see, the other one hasn't popped up. That's because um, in the mission properties, in the task, we put it as a hidden state. It hasn't been called upon yet because we haven't completed this current objective. Remember that event that we put in? This will only, you'll see it pop up in just a second. But it'll, um, once it's called upon, then it'll pop up. So, this location. There you go. Well, it kind of went a little quick. I think they should have added in a, um, in a delay. But now, as you see, as soon as I completed it, I have a little check mark to show that I completed it. And as you can see, kill the German officer has appeared. And I can also go to the binoculars and also show me where he is. So I can kill him. Uh, again, to figure that now, um, it did say mission complete. But it said go, it went straight to um, kill the German officer. That's because... We didn't add a delay. We sh I should have kind of counted that in for this video, and I'm sorry for that. If you do, if you want to fix that, all you have to do is just add in like maybe a two or three second delay between each one. So now, what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna um, get a good shot and kill him. So I'm just gonna move him over here. Okay, looking pretty good. Looks like he has a clear shot. Shoot him. Ay, ay, ay. All right, hold on. There we go. Oh, man. Well, there you go. As soon as I killed him, one Take second that. later, it said, kill the German officer, mission complete. All right, sorry about that, guys. That took a little Keep longer than expected. Uh, but, yeah, there you go. Um, it works perfectly fine. And, uh, yeah, that's really about it. So, again, this is a, a simple objective tutorial. Again, I will be posting... Um, I'll be posting advanced tutorials on objectives later on. There's so much things that I didn't really cover in this video, but if I did, it would have been a lot longer. So I didn't want to do that. Um, so this is just very basic on how to do the simple objectives. So guys, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you guys liked it, favorite it, you know, share it if you need to, all that stuff. If you have any questions, any comments, any rants or concerns, you know where to put them down below in the comments or on my channel, Facebook, uh, or email me if you have anything like that. And as well as check out my Steam group, I'm still having more people join in, so uh, I'm seeing that it's very nice that actually people are joining in still, so it's pretty cool. And um, yeah, guys, I'll be posting more of this hopefully soon. I have a whole entire week off, so I will be posting as much as I can during this entire week. So um, I'll be getting some more videos like this hopefully in the future, and I'll see you guys next time.